Hey and welcome, it is May 2016 and this is the Fan Fiction Multiverse Show. This program is dedicated to news and updates on all fan fiction that I am currently working on. And I give you a monthly updates on projects that I'm doing, what stories are going to be updated uh, this month, and this is the, uh, this is... Everything that I'm working on currently here in May. And then I will do another show in June that will cover what I'm working on then. So that's how this is going to work from now on. I've got a new intro. So I hope you'd like that. Created that with the new software that I'm using that I've been learning. So let's get started with the latest news. Okay, this is something that people have been requesting for quite a while. They've been wanting... An update to Ranma Ascension. And Ranma Ascension is one of the stories that I started working on after I had gotten out of from under my depression. And to recap, Ranma Ascension is a Ranma half Oh My Goddess crossover where Erd partially merges with Ranma in order to save his mind during the Nico Ken training in order to prevent him from becoming a, basically, a mindless killing machine. Years later, something happens to him. Now, what this is, is a spoiler. It's a part of the plot, so you'll have to read the story. But he's near death, and she has to complete the assimilation in order to save them both. And they become one person, one mind, one body, all, every all their memories intact in one person and the same mix of personalities erd mixed with ranma yeah that's definitely very scary but in the story something has happened to akane something pretty bad and ranma and nabiki have to deal with it and they're working together with one another on Trying to get uh, through the problem. Trying to help Akane through it. Now, the chapter is partially done. And it should be ready by the end of the month. This chapter marks the beginning of a new arc in the story that will eventually lead to Ranma and Nabiki leaving Narima. And I have two possible ways they could go. One, they could go to Juban or they could go to Nakomi. Now what I've thought of doing is sending them to Nakomi because what's going to happen is is they're going to encounter Usagi and friends. They're going to meet up with the Sailor Senshi. Now what I may end up doing is shifting the Sailor Moon timeline to much further in the future where all the girls are going to college and they're all going to Nakomi Tech by some means. You know, maybe Usagi got tutoring. She was able to get a scholarship. Uh, right now, this is still pretty far ahead in, in the story. So there's a lot of details I still need to work out. But this meetup between Ranma, between... Manma, Beldandi, and Schooled in the Sailor Senshi is a lead-in to another story that I have been building up to for a while that people have been requesting for a long time that I started writing in another form, but I stopped. And so this will lead into the Megaverse War. And the Megaverse War is a massive, multi-dimensional conflict between heroes of different dimensions and villains of other dimensions, all fighting each other for the sake of all reality itself. And so this is something that is far into the future, uh, sometime later in the year, that I don't have anything written right now. I'm currently uh, hammering out some outlines on ideas for this. So I don't have anything that's ready to be released. But I will let you know through the show 
when there is anything and when I post anything on fanfiction.net as to the future of this show. The future of, well, the future of this uh, fanfic. <laughs> big news. Really big news. This is, this is huge news for me. Um, I wrote, I started writing The Dark Lord of Dry back in 2001. And this story really helped me get through a very dark time in my life. I was suffering from depression. I had no help, not even from my wife at the time, who is now my ex, because she didn't understand what was happening to me. My family didn't understand what was happening to me. And it ruined our relationship. And this got me through it. Writing this story got me through it. And I did it on notepad. I didn't have a word processor then. I didn't have Office then. And Star Office, which is what um, Open Office and now LibreOffice became, really wasn't ready. And I didn't have the money to buy a word processor, so I used Notepad to write the story. And so it's filled with errors, and it's not properly spaced, and it, it's just a mess. And the story's all over the place. Well, I thought for a long time, I thought about writing, rewriting it. I had thought about writing a sequel, and I started one, but I never finished it. I got only partially through a first chapter and I've lost that file a long time ago so I thought you know why don't I I've got new ideas uh, the third OVA came out since then of Tenchi Milu that wasn't available then uh, and a lot of the ideas I used in the story have been massively changed and refined so I thought let's Go back and, you know, look at the ideas of the story and completely rewrite it. Now, the original story was about an invasion of interdimensional life essence stealing vampires. And it was originally posted to the Tenchi Milieu Fanfiction Archive. And later I moved it to fanfiction.net when the TMFFA went down. So the story will have a completely new Tenchi Muyo continuity, meaning it won't be based off of anything but the OVA. All non-OVA characters are tossed out. This means that if the character Kione is referenced, she is not the Galax police officer Kione from Tenchi Universe. She's Tenchi's, she is Tenchi's mom, who is deceased in the storyline. The timeline is after Tenchi Muyo GXP, which means it's after the events of the third OVA, after um, everything that happens in the Tenchi Muyo GXP storyline. So it happened, that is the Tenchi side of the, of the continuity. The other half of the canon is completely new. The darkness has been reimagined into a race called the Skora. They use an all-organic technology that is heavily inspired by the Zerg of Starcraft. The um, weaving arts, which were seen in Beneath the Crimson Sky, were developed by another race in the story, and these are further refined, much further refined. The weavers are now called adepts. And they are, they serve a group called the Guardian Corps, which was started by the character Orin Quintarin of the Satari Imperial Republic. Now the Satari people, they still live in the Dyson Sphere called Galia, and they know that their ancestors are the Eloquin, the people who discovered the weave and who created the weaving arts and 
made the first and established the first adepts. The main character for this uh, for this half of the story will be Viren Quintarin, young cousin to Orin Quintarin. And Tenchi will be a secondary character in the story. So most of the story will follow Viren rather than Tenchi. The first book will have two plots. One, one plot will focus on Tenchi's relationship with Ryoko and Aika. And the other one will introduce Viren on a mission which discovers an Eloquent Link Gate, which is a gateway that allows instant travel between galaxies. Book 2 will focus on Ari Magma, Tenchi's grandmother, on board the Deep Space Galaxy Police Cruiser Amaterasu, investigating the lost contact with a remote science colony. And Viren will be going through the Link Gate to learn what the Scora are doing on the other side. Book 3? I'm not going to give anything away about Book 3 yet. Uh, as one knows, book three of the original story was the whole battle for Jirai, a large space battle. There will be massive space battles in this. There will be something involving Jirai. Something will be happening there. It's going to be pretty big. It's going to be pretty bad. I know that uh, each book is going to have several chapters. So this is going to be a long project. And I will release this. Um, I will release this project when the books are done. What I'm going to do is write them, write each chapter, and then once each chap, once a chapter is done, I'll start the next. And then once that particular book is finished, then I will release it to Fanfiction.net in its entirety rather than releasing one chapter after another after another I'll release each book when they're done so that you know when it's out you can read the whole thing and then wait for the next part and then wait for the next part and if I need to I'll be able to go back and I'll be able to change something if I need to if I th think of a better idea for a scene or a better idea for something else that way it's not already out there I won't have to pull it down and put and put a new version back up that way I can make sure everything is cohesive make sure the story makes sense make sure everything is connected there are no plot holes so that when I post it up on factfiction.net it will be the best story that I can put together for you guys. And, you know, when I write stories, I write them for me. So I'm writing this story for me. This is what, this is the kind of story that I would like to read. And if anyone else likes it, fine. I don't go out of my way to try and please people. Because you can never please everybody. So, if you enjoy it, Please let me know. Alright, let's move on. Alright, to finish the show, I'll talk about what's happening in June. The Beneath the Crimson Sky will be getting a update on its story. This uh, this new chapter will begin the next phase in the saga. Um, new, there will be more world building, more lore will be introduced. Uh, for the first time, you will get information on Primordial Vampires, Revenants, the Nosferatu, the Vela Fey of Glenmora, and the Vladimiri Werewolves. There will also you will also see Ryuga's introduction in the next coming chapters. He'll be coming soon. He will not be a vampire hunter. Uh, something special is planned for him, by the way, for the story. So really look forward to it in addition I will be doing a special that talks about the lore of beneath a crimson sky and another fanfic that I am currently working on that involves Ron Mahaff that is based in an alternate reality version of this universe that is that has 
a lot more detail to it. Also, I had stated one time that uh, something hentai this way comes would be ending. Well, technically yes and technically no. I was going to start another story called the Succubus, called the Succubus Diaries. But I, did, I liked the uh, story name of Something Hentai This Way Comes, which is a um, sort of a, a take on the uh, Something Wicked This Way Comes, which was a Jason Robards movie. But uh, Something Hentai This Way Comes is going to be completely rewritten from the beginning as what the succubus diaries was going to be and wtf is not going to get a rewrite the first chapter is going to stay the same uh, there's nothing wrong with that chapter but w wtf will be a spin-off of this story and they, the two stories will fit together there you will in a very interesting way now to give you some uh, a preview run of the story of what the story plot is about Ranma didn't fall into the spring of drowned girl at first it seemed like he did but he didn't he fell into the spring of drowned succubus but not an ordinary one this is a lesbian succubus and her returns going to make waves in the underworld and the story is set in an alternate version of the Beneath a Crimson Sky um, universe. It is different from the other one that I'm going to be working on that involves Ron Mahaf also. So that's going to be three stories that are set in three different versions of this universe. Where I can really flesh out the ideas for this. As I also said in a past episode, Beneath the Crimson Sky will be a actual novel. But uh, it won't be with Ranma half characters, though one of the characters name won't be named Ranma. He will be a very different Ranma. He won't turn into a girl. He will be a vampire. But uh, I'll have more details on that when I actually have something to show. But uh, I'll be able to work on the lore of the story a lot more uh, with these three and I will have a uh, I will have as I said I will have another show uh, possibly within a week that will detail more of the lore of this universe of this particular universe where I will talk about you know who the primordial vampires are who the revenants are you know, who the Vladimir werewolves are. And who all these different characters are. Who the Villa Fey of Glenmora are. And what the relations are. Who is the, li who is the library? You know, where did they come in? Where did they come into the story? So it's going to be pretty detailed. So, please watch for it. It'll be coming soon. Oh, yes. I also wanted to uh, let you know that there is a new story in the works. This one, again, is a long-term project. So, it's not going to be available immediately. Uh, this is Heir of the Bat. It will involve Ron Mahaf and a crossover with the Justice League. So I hope you like it very much. You know, it asks the story, what happens if Genma really isn't Ranma's dad? What if, uh, what if, uh, you know, Nadoka got involved with a certain, um, billionaire from, uh, Gotham City before she got married to Genma? And, and um, so you'll have, just have to find out when the story is ready. All right, that's the show. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.